Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm just gonna make a quick video, simple video on a yellow jacket gasket remover and how to remove the gaskets from uh, your quarter inch. Can you zoom into that? This is a quarter inch hose adapter from yellow jacket. Go to your gauge or your blue hose. Let me see something. Uh, this is your refrigerant hose. Let me let me just show you. This is this one's a lot better. You zoomed in. This one doesn't get the same amount of usage or wear and tear as this one that gets connected to the service valve or yeah service valve so i'm going to show you you can order these online or app or you can get them at avco refrigeration or um, johnstone refrigeration so check this out that's a little core remover or schrader pin remover and it's sometimes it's a little tough to get these out It's been a while since I took them out, but it's not easy. This is why some guys just want to replace them, just buy new ones. Whole new adapter. Gonna make it a little easier. Oh, this one's tight. Gotta make sure it's clean. Zoom in. See, this is kind of 
warped so sometimes you just you might have to replace them but you get the you get the idea and then you have your quarter inch quarter inch adapter this is five sixteenths this is for like um i use them for fujitsu uh, to go into fujitsu units oh. and then you have the three eighths gaskets which is for like the three eighths black holes that most guys use for their vacuum your vacuum pump So there you go. And this this pushes the the core rail in. Um so this the top of this tool well what was it? threads on to let you work because you guys saw how it gave me a hard time doing it like this so threads on it, it just you know this is simple stuff but a lot of guys don't even know this Should have removed that first. Sometimes it doesn't come out. So there you go. Oh, let me get. Let me. Sh let me show them this one. See if this guy comes out here. It makes it a little easier. And then I don't want to take this out because this this gasket is still okay. But you get the idea. I should have done it that way first. So I'll put this back. So if you had so if you put your gauges on, if you put your gauges on or your hose on or your hose adapter on this here onto your service valve and you and you get a lot of leakage that's one reason that you're gonna lose a lot of refrigerant so you could do it this way so you could do this for for this hose or um you can use your low loss fittings i have low loss fittings for pressure tests but if i'm not doing a pressure test i just use these hoses and then you have the ball valve so there you have it pretty simple thanks guys if you are uh, if you find this uh, helpful just please subscribe thank you